Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Bell Custom. So today we're going to do a work in progress video on this pearl kit that I'm working on. Now I did a video review on the kit a while back. I'm almost done with her. Uh, I'll be entering her into the Jersey Fest contest. I don't really care about contests, whether I win or lose. Uh, the main reason I'm doing it for the contest is I'm not going to have a table at the Jersey Fest show this year. I'm just going to display two items in the contest, win or lose, it doesn't matter. Just so I could have something on display at the show. Uh, just the way things worked out this year, I don't have any items to really display on the show and get a table to promote myself. It just didn't work out. Plus, I think this year I want to go around and talk to people and, you know, get some tips and tricks. Maybe see how people do things. Just kind of have more fun at the show than sitting at a table the whole day. So anyway, this kit, I'm going to add rust onto this treasure chest. Now, it's going to be like a kit bash entry and a female entry, I guess. I don't know really how it works out. But I had a lot of fun with this kit and I added a few things. I added a treasure chest, I took out the big snake, I added a tongue that'll be licking her butt. You'll see that at the end of the video or another video I post after the show. And then I also added this um, uh, anchor here with a lot of other stuff. So it's kind of still wet, I did some more things to it, but I'm going to add rust to this treasure chest. Now, in a way you could just add rust by adding paint to it, but I want rust to kind of be rusty like this piece here. Uh, getting a little bit closer for you guys, let's see. Alright, so, turn this around. So as you can see, this is kind of rusty. So this was a brass uh, piece I found off eBay. And I added all this rust, I added a little bit of greens in there, not much. So, I kind of want to do the little bit here as well. And what I'm going to do is going to mix up, mix up some aves. In the aves, I'm going to add green and uh, black to it, paint. And then I'm going to use a a hard brush, a paintbrush that's kind of old and rough and doesn't really need to be clean and I'm just going to kind of try to get it on there and it, it's going to work out to the point where I really don't even need to paint it. I'm going to let the Ave, you know, the Ave's color green do its work for me so I really won't have to go crazy and uh, as you can see this opens up too so I got to add all this treasure chest stuff in there as well but I just want to get the Ave's on there first, get that all done, then I want to make sure I can paint the base black, get that done and then I can add all the treasure in here and then she'll pretty much be ready for the show with some other add-ons here and there. So like I said, uh, I'm going to start mixing this up so you guys can see how I mix it up. And then uh, in real time, we'll start throwing some onto the treasure chest. And then you let it dry. And it's like a cured colored Aves already onto the item. And then you don't have to worry about painting it, which is good. And the good thing is if it gets a little bit messy and there's green and there's smudging, that's going to take that's going to be to my advantage because I want it to be a little bit rusty. But we're going to try to focus mostly on the metal pieces and not the which would be the wood kind of stuff, but this was a metal treasure chest I got off of eBay. And that's the cool thing about these projects is, no matter what you do when you get a kit, you can have fun with it and do whatever you want, and that's the beauty of this whole hobby. You don't have to do exactly what they give you and what's colored on the box, you can have fun with it. So I chopped this sucker up, I added a whole bunch of stuff, and then near the end of the video or another video, we'll kind of go over everything of what I did, so you guys can get a better idea. But I just want to show you something which you can do with Aves and have some fun with Aves without having to worry about painting it too. You could just throw the Aves on with a color and you're done. So let's get the Aves mixed up and then we'll start slapping all of it on. Alright, so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use Aves Fix-It Sculpt because the only reason why I'm using Aves is because it's a natural white color. If I use my uh, red Aves, mixing the green and the black, it's not going to come up with a good color that I want. I want it to be like a fresh color. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of this. I'm going to pick up them that, mix it together. And then I'm going to really use my safety solvent and really get it nice and mushy and clear, like kind of pasty. So this way when I put it onto the paintbrush, it's just, it's just very uh, messy. It's not smooth and perfect. And that's what I really want. So that's kind of what you'll be seeing as a fast video. Just getting it really mushy and really pasty. And the more safety solvent you add, the softer and thinner it becomes till it gets to like almost like a toothpaste kind of a thing. And that's the kind of goal. So we'll start mixing that up. All right, so we got it all mixed up. It, when you do it something like this, you pretty much are losing the paintbrush anyway at the end because this is an old paintbrush anyway, and because the aves and paint so caked up in there, it's, you're just going to lose it. But this is why I always save no matter what paintbrushes I have, whether the tips are bad or whatever, I just stockpile them as you can see here. These are like 
all old paint brushes you never know when you're going to need them for something so if they're stiff in and they're hardened it might work out to your benefit if you do some dry brushing and stuff so it's good to just pile them away and you never know if you need them instead of throwing them out so the idea now is just to kind of start throwing some rust around here and, it, and if it kind of comes up a little bit and off of the, the piece it's okay it doesn't really matter it's just rust or fungus or whatever the heck's going on and this is why I didn't mix up too much of it because I knew and if you do too much green on it and you think that oh well there's just too much in there you know you can get some more black paint and the paint's going to dry up fast in it compared to the A's itself but that's alright it's just a matter of having some fun with the edging throw some stuff around in here get back in there I'm not trying to go crazy with it, just to give it a little bit, a little bit of fun. Because you figure if it's at the bottom of the ocean, there's going to be some kind of stuff around. And then uh, if I have to, I can throw some more tin bins in it, which is kind of like a really dark brown metallic in the stuff. I'm not really like focusing like ah oh, it's gotta it's gotta hit that and just just letting the paintbrush and just having fun with it and letting it hit places. Just for fun. Like I said, you can do this with paint, but with the AUs, sometimes you get some uh, really cool extra stuff sticking out. And then when it dries, you don't have to really it just kind of look cool so and if you throw too much you can just take it away with a finger and like I said if you if you get too much in a spot and you don't like it to get some more of the black so it's almost like painting with Aves in a way like I said it doesn't matter if you throw a little extra just to get some edging that's kind of what I want to do now so let's uh this way, trying to get the camera in. So taking out the edging a little bit more. So I definitely need a little bit more black. Now I I, I don't remember how I came up with this. I was just kind of had some extra A's one day that was black A's and I was putting a black all over this piece and I liked the way it was working and I just said alright we'll start thinning it up a little bit more and it worked out get some back in there, too much that's not good dropping stuff all over the place If you're around the lock area, there's a little bit of thickness going on it. And you just play it by ear. You know, if you think that you want extra and really kind of getting it on, you just throw some extra in there. And yeah, I like the way it's coming out. And just keep playing with the item. Like the old Bob Ross uh, videos when I used to watch when I was younger. A happy mistake could work out. Also, my professors in art school used to say the same thing sometimes a mistake can work out and make the piece look amazing. So don't be afraid to just have fun with it.
And then what I might do is throw a little bit more over here on this piece. So if we got the piece coming down at an angle, we can throw more up over here. Because this age is starting to kind of cake up a little bit on me, which is working out better than being super soft because the paint is kind of starting to dry. So that's going to open up and then do some. Now we don't want this to dry while. Open it up, so we'll take a, this thing and just throw that there for now so we can get some around the edging. It's going to be open anyway once I get all the treasures in there. Do some a little bit extra at the corner. Let it Like I said, I'm just, just having fun with it. I'm not really even thinking, just kind of rolling with it. Throwing. Trying to get it look old. Because if it's at the bottom of the ocean, it's not a brick. Because this treasure chest was all pure silver with black uh, straps all around it. So I painted it all up. I gave it a lot of washing. Did a lot of coloring to it. I just kind of wanted to make it look old. Uh, I like the way it's building up little by little here and there, getting some good rusting in the starting to look messy on the edging, which is kind of good. I like that. So I'll do a little bit more. And you don't have to worry about this paint because if you did it with paint, it's going to be smooth. With the A's, it's going to cure in the form that you're doing it. So adding extra is going to work out a little bit more to your advantage. So since this is down there, we got a little bit more. So I always start slow, and then I start building up to see how it's looking. If it if it's if I like what's going on. And I do, and I like the way it's building up now. So if you are going to Jersey Fest, hopefully you guys get a chance to see this. I will do a video beforehand. the way that's coming out. It's giving some really nice nice smooch, I guess you could say over the corners. Because uh, on my screen I am looking at a couple pictures of rusted treasure chests. Some artwork, some real pieces, so I'm kind of trying to find a middle ground on all them. And it's kind of, that's kind of cool. Gives a little bit of a little water effect coming out. 